Hey everybody, I have something really, really fun to talk about today. At least I think it's really fun. So we're gonna geek out a little bit on how our bones are made. I just did a ton of research. This is so fascinating and I'm gonna try and bring it to you in 10 minutes or less. The reason I'm talking about this is because in February, 2019, one of the promotional items for Young Living is Super Cal Plus. Sorry for the light, you can't see that. Super Cal Plus, so it's a calcium supplement, but it's packed full of vitamin D, vitamin K, magnesium, so that you're gonna get that calcium absorption. But I wanna talk to you a little bit about the way that bones work in a general sense because this is a truly, truly unique supplement. The first thing I want you to know is that almost every other supplement on the market, you can pretty much not waste your money on it because they are selling you calcium carbonate. What is calcium carbonate? It is a form of calcium that comes from rocks and minerals and the seashells of, well, seashells and oyster shells and stuff like that. So yes, while those are loaded with calcium, it's not readily absorbable by our bodies. It's not bioavailable. Young Living has actually found a red algae that they farm and grow in Iceland of all places, which is a living, um, organism that actually produces a calcium that is very, very desirable for our body. And then of course they do pack uh, vitamin D and vitamin K and magnesium in here as well to help our bones to absorb the calcium. So let's talk real quick about bone structure and why any of this matters. I find this super, super fascinating. So let's see how quickly we can get through this. Obviously this is a bone. If you go deep dive into the bone, what it's constructed of is this matrix right here. And you will see these little pockets right here called lacuna, and the inside the lacuna is the little cell, and this is called an osteo site, thank you, site. Osteo means bone, site means cell. So the osteocyte is right here, okay? And then they communicate with each other through these networks that you can see. Um, and so basically, the way that a bone grows is like this. This is really cool. Don't be overwhelmed by the diagram. It's kind of like tree ring. Do you know how a tree a tree grows and then it kind of grows another circle outside of that and another circle, another circle, and you end up with these tree rings? Well, our bones grow very much the same way. And there's your little uh, osteocyte cells right there and the little matrix that they hold each other together. So as a ring grows and then the next ring grows, they have these channels, remember I just showed you, that interconnect to one another so the cells can communicate. And then on the outer dense part of our bone, these little tree rings, if you will, kind of cement together through that network. And then the cells can all communicate to one another and they send messages back and forth and they build proteins and they do all of this really cool stuff. And that is how your bones grow. And of course, down here we've got our blood vessels. This is the interior of the bone where you've got the major vessels that are going up, you know, through your marrow. And then of course you've got these channels that deliver uh, blood to and from all the different areas of your bone going up through the bone and across the bone and whatnot. But what I want to focus on are these little rings right here. You can see how like this little canal is growing its rings. This little canal is growing its rings and they kind of grow and grow and grow together. And that's really great. Um, that is what we want, that's what we want in our children. We want their bones to grow and to be really strong and dense. What happens as we age is that there's a certain kind of cell called an osteoclast that actually starts to break down the bones. Now, this isn't entirely bad. It's a naturally occurring process that if it doesn't get out of balance is actually a good thing because what it does is it kind of secretes enzymes and acids that eat away at the bone. Sounds terrible, but the reason it does that, it leaves these little pits in the bones so that all these minerals and all the good stuff that's being produced by other parts of our body can um, absorb into the bone better. So it's creating these nice little pocketed areas for the mineral absorption. Really, really great. What happens is that as we age, we start producing more and more and more of these osteoclasts that break down the bone and less and less and less of the osteoblasts, which build, B for build, blast and build, which build our bones stronger and denser and tougher and help, help to really um, make these networks really strong, okay? So you always wanna have a balance between your osteoblasts that are building bone. You don't want all the osteoblasts, you don't wanna build bone until it's like protruding and <laughs> you know into the rest of your body. And you don't want it breaking down from the osteoclast to the point where your bone is just disintegrating. What you want is a nice healthy balance. And it's like anything in our body that we have learned um, is that as you age, usually one system starts to get out of balance with the other. Okay, so what's super, super unique about this uh, Super Cal Plus is that the 
it actually has osteoblasts. It's bringing you osteoblasts to help to build the bone density. What happens in your body is if your body doesn't have the calcium in the bloodstream that it needs and it's not getting it through nutrients, and again, it's not getting it through supplements that come from rocks and seashells <laughs> um, because it can't absorb it. So if your body doesn't have the calcium that it needs through nutrition, it goes into the bones and extracts calcium out of the bones. And when it extracts the calcium out of the bones, the bones crumble and become weak, okay? Same thing with vitamin D. If you don't have enough vitamin D, your bones will become soft. If you don't have enough, enough vitamin K, vitamin K produces proteins that actually attract calcium to the bone, okay? So we got vitamin D in here to help bone strength. We got vitamin K in here to attract the calcium to the bone. We have a bioavailable form of calcium that comes from this algae in Iceland. Um, and then of course we've got magnesium, which when all of these minerals are coming to the bone and calcium specifically, it helps the absorption into the bone and then into the bloodstream and so on and so forth. So you've got this beautiful, beautiful cycle where you're taking the osteoblast, you're balancing it with the osteoclast, you've got the D3, you've got the vitamin K, you've got the magnesium, you've got a bioavailable source of calcium. Again, we're not sucking on an oyster shell trying to get this into our body. Um, that is doing it in vain. Uh, we are actually getting from a source that our body can absorb. Um, and at the end of the day, we're really, really supporting the bone matrix that you see right here um, and just keeping that balance um, in check. And the other thing that I wanted to touch on real quick with the SuperCal Plus, I've got a ton of notes down here, so please forgive me. And they're really disorganized. <laughs> um, also, uh, we want to focus a little bit on estrogen as being one of those things, especially pre or post-menopausal women, their estrogen levels tend to plummet. Well, estrogen is the thing that encourages strong, healthy bones, so osteoporosis and things like that tend to set in significantly in women who are post-menopausal. So, um, there are things in here that actually mimic estrogen to encourage your body to continue the building of healthy bones. Um, that, and then this is the um, fermented polysaccharide or black yeast, which is, has been studied and found for what we are talking about is called bone remodeling. And that sounds really funny because we think of remodeling our bathroom. Um, but really all that is is that our bones are constantly in a process of dying and bone remodeling is that process that as it's dying, you're constantly doing a regeneration. So replacing the old cells with the new. So we love and want to encourage that process. Um, and there's lots of different things in SuperCal Plus that all work synergistically together to make sure that process is ongoing. This is a daily supplement, two to four capsules. Recommended dose is two. I know people who take up to four on a daily basis. So this is something you're going to want to put in your essential rewards and have it every single month because you're not just getting a calcium that comes from a rock. <laughs> you don't have to go suck on some limestone <laughs> to get the calcium that's not going to absorb into your body anyways, right? All of these things are working in this incredible way to continue this bone remodeling process that our bodies are naturally doing. It's just that as we age, the remodeling process tapers off and it really ends up being more of a degeneration process. We don't want that. We want to support ourselves and we want to start it now while we are still young enough and strong enough um, and get into a regular routine of maintenance so that as you continue to age and you see the tipping scale and the balance fall off, you are actively seeking to bring that balance back. Now, other food sources that do have high calcium that is bioavailable, broccoli and green kale. So love yourself some deep, dark greens, but you're still probably not gonna get a, eat enough broccoli or enough kale to maintain that balance that your body needs. So get yourself some Super Cal Plus. Put it in your essential rewards, and then you guys, you get all these free essential oils because you are buying these amazing supplements from Young Living. It's one really, really great benefit of the rewards program. All right, talk to you later.